Hello there guys and girls, this is the Prussian Prince with another for Let's Play episode of Sweden, now Scandinavia. Let's see what we can do as our armies get larger and larger and larger. Of course, our next uh, step would be to, obviously, well, we have no diplomats left. Alright, sure, let's wait a little while then, I suppose. Oh, real marriage from Würzburg. These guys are vassals. Yes, they are, so just accept anyway. Then, our last diplomat. Let's see. Oh, core construction is almost done here. That's great. There's lower over extension. Raise taxes even higher. What can we do here? Well, that would cost a lot, so. What we can do instead is simply make some cores. And wow, we are doing a fantastic job here. But yeah. Truce Uzbek, breaking truce Crimea, breaking truce Lithuania. Hmm, I'd be fighting a huge war, so I'd rather not, I think, because France is way too strong for me to handle right now. Or is it? Is France too strong right now? That's the question. Oh, go back to the ledger. Three armies total. Actually, yeah, I could probably just bring up this because it shows everything. Anyway, Scandinavia. France is weak right now, actually. So if I declare war on Lithuania, and I have to fabricate a claim, wait, wait, wait. Poland, Austria, Naples. No, too many in the coalition. I cannot handle it, unfortunately. Nope. It is way too difficult. So I might as well just keep expanding east or into Crimea. And let me take some, actually, hmm, I wonder. Well, 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 these guys like me a lot. Würzburg especially, though. Aggressive expansion, though, it's annoying. Super, super annoying. As for Saxony, oh, breaking truce. This would be very annoying. I cannot attack anybody with them. Yeah, this is a huge, annoying coalition against me. So, how am I gonna deal with it? Well, I can only deal with it by expanding east. <laughs> Let's fabricate a claim and do it on Pashkorostan. Yeah. Kortostan. Yeah, that's a pretty decent province, actually. It's a good choice. As for spending our admin power, let's see. Well, unique buildings march is not enough. Spam some temples around. Yes, we can do that to increase our income even further than it already is. And then some constables. Oh, we can still build another temple. And we can build more around here. Constables. Where can we build them? Okay, we can build one there. So for town halls. Wow, we can build this. Alright, sure. Let's build it. As for treasuries. Treasuries, treasuries. Or be it. Treasuries. What else can we build? Workshops. Oh, workshops would be good, actually. Yeah, let's spam a few around here because we have so much admin power that we might as well, right? We might as well Spam it everywhere and we don't have any more money. <laughs> well, that's that's normal, I suppose But we gain a significant amount So no need to worry of course we've lost that castle's belly, but it's not really a big deal. I have 48,000 in the stack here, which is should be more than enough at least. Handle pretty much everything. Oh, Gelre? Okay. But Gelre and Rin has been converted. Is there more to convert? Uh, it seems so, but we're working on it. Yeah, and they're building their Gelre. I'm sorry, but no. Nope, nope, nope. I assume Patriots. It's only 10k. It's easy to get rid of. Oh, and my are doing it so we're it's done so now oh fabricating already here waiting for my diplomat to come back and once he's back we should fabricate another claim and on Berzov this time yep we want that and of course we keep one I guess we should still expand everywhere else <laughs> in the meantime as for Würzburg yeah they don't like me because of all that sort of stuff prestige or national revolt risk because who cares about that right my vessels are also quite a, quite a decent amount of units too, so I'm quite happy about that. But of course, conquest against Uzbek. It's 
gonna take a while for those to get back though. Yeah, we can now convert to perm as we actually desire. Our income is very, very high right now. We could, oh, Brandenburg is the emperor, okay. Good annoying truce. Oh, we got hit by this twice because of different emperors. Actually, three times, so to speak. So that's bad. But, yes, we have gained the claim on Perm. Let's make another and do it on Tura. In Tura, but it's, okay. it's an okay province, really. Truces, though, we have a lot of them. Oh, Lithuania declared war. Okay, okay, this is a big war. <laughs> And we have to deal with such a war right now. Whoa, so many units. France is in this as well, so this makes things much, much harder. Then. But. Yes, we should be okay, hopefully. I think, at least. Send the units here, and yes, we're crushing their stacks. No, wait till I can destroy that stack my own stack is destroyed they lost every single unit as well many claims overall no oh the French are coming the French are coming the French are coming the French are coming here they go can they survive this battle though probably not because they have a lot but they don't have enough plus a lot more we have whoa this war here we lost so many troops that it was insane. And we did lose a good amount of troops ourselves, but it's compared to what they lost, this is just nothing. Yep. Milan is gone here, and here comes France again, and getting destroyed. Because our troops are just that much better. We're destroying this coalition just so easily as you can see. But I do want more territory for myself. Oh I want Bremen actually. Bremen is going to be something that I do desire. Yes, I have to agree. Let's look at the war support as well. It's pretty insane. But that's good that it's so insane. Thing is, we have some enemies around here that we have to really, really deal with. So it's time to get in there. Teach them a lesson. As for this idea, oh, it's still ahead of time, but it's all good. Let's lower the maintenance modifier and then we'll be okay. Skagerrock, okay. Sure. Sieges though, we're going along very very fine and as you can see we didn't really, really lose too too many men. Uh, okay. They figure us out. Alright. Core construction though in Cassell and Nassau are, is actually just going down though I think. Where Cassell and Nassau. Oh, that's a pretty big stack of the enemy right there. But not to be worried. Well, they're actually trying to go ahead and do something which is why it's kind of funny oh we have to get the hell out of here <laughs> okay run Let's run can hold unlike you okay. no we cannot we have to send in more reinforcements crush the french crush the french guys yes so how did you like that friends how did you like that send this pontus guy back home so yeah that was, must have been pretty difficult for you, right? Oh, and we did lose this battle, I think, apparently. Which is bad, but we still did fine on the other flank, I would say. Go back to Bremen. Go back to Bremen. And come on, I mean, you've lost so many troops. You should, st and you still don't give up? You guys are funny. You guys are funny, but please siege this to the end. Oh god, attack me. Will you not? Oh, there they go. It is all just in goodwill, I guess, because they just got destroyed once more. Once more, they got destroyed. As they should, so I'm gonna actually go in here, take care of that 7k. The thing is, there are so many troops here. I'm just worry slightly. Uh, we do want best fallen though. Let's go up here to Bremen then. Thing is, it's only 2k, so we could assault it. There we go. Can we take this? No, it's too much to ask. What? Have to be kidding me. Have to be kidding me. Oh, okay. 
Okay, if that's what you think. That is truly what you do think. But yes, that, that battle should not go our way anymore, but we did damn it, it lowered our war score significantly as well. So this means we have to go down here to Cassell and destroy them. Over and over and over again. I think that's what has to be done. Soon at least. Yes, actually, can we not quite piece it out then? Just barely not enough, it seems. How about you can old treaties? Well, you wouldn't even accept that. But alright, alright. I shall just concede defeat. Yeah. Concession of defeat. Is that all that you need? I hope it is, because we lost a lot of good men in this war. We lost a lot of good men. So, so, so. Incorporate Würzburg into our country. Mm. Würzburg, Würzburg, Würzburg. Is it possible? Well, they like us a lot, so I imagine it should be possible. They're gonna like us even more. So, yeah, I guess we can go for that and then get a fourth defense guy here. I suppose it is definitely possible. So now we could go for this, but this would be Grain Depot. I guess we can build it. Yeah, why not? Build in Stockholm means lower maintenance and stuff. What is it? It doesn't actually show what we're building, which is unfortunate. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't. Oh, I wish it would show us. Oh, it does show us here, but it doesn't show us the, the actual uh, change. But as you were able to see here, we did weak, weaken the French and the others a lot. The French only have 26,000 left, by the way, so... They got kind of destroyed in that in that war. <laughs> it's gonna take them a while to recover, but... In the meantime, what this allows us to do is it allows us to become stronger. And wage more wars. We just bought ourselves more time. Which we can do this. So, it's just great overall for us, I would say. Nassau is now our province, so Nassau is going to be next, which is uh, very, very good here. Going to have a lot of manpower at our disposal. So Perm, allied with Crimea, it would be expected, I suppose. But it is time to send our ships here. Only 28,000 though, so I suppose. Ah, oh, that's just to protect the trade in the North Sea, no. White Sea. White Sea, no. Let's do Baltic. See, or Lubeck, Lubeck. Yeah, let's do Lubeck. And now send this stack all the way east. Because we want to wage war and take Berzov. Yeah, go there, destroy Perm. That is our goal. And we still have a few more claims here, which we should take. Because they are ours, rightfully ours. But, oh, some rebels somewhere, I think. Yeah, Nassau, that's alright. I think we can destroy it. And of course, a lot of people have left the coalition against us. Well, Lithuania is a big, big yes. And we're happy that they left the coalition against us. They're pretty big and annoying. But yes, Nassau here, as you can see, is very, very nice. I mean, it's, it's nice that we actually just uh, managed to finally do what we needed to do with them. As with it's Uzbek that's the leader it seems and Crimea is a separate dude so actually we could do destroy Crimea first and then worry about the others yeah we could do that I think let's do that oh and my game is just doing weird things with the mouse but all right okay we have taken bears off so let's go back here move on we have taken Samara let's go forward here Probably gonna go back to Perm, which is why we'll go and destroy them. They got... Oh no! Lost so much stability! What is this? 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 Oof. In 10 years it will end, but that's so long. We can boost our stability until then, but it's just annoying. Oh my goodness, we lost so much admin power because of this, it's just super annoying. But oh well, oh freaking well. Oh, 
fine. 8k in Holstein, it's not a big deal. We can deal with that. But just why now? Why now? Stupid aspiration for liberty. You guys are just are just even serious about this. It's so annoying. But anyway, hope you guys and girls enjoyed. And if you want to see more, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Share the video. And I shall see you next time.